documentary is The Smallest People in the World, and it's on Channel 4 tonight at 9 o'clock. And uh, now, comfort food. Every week we'll be sending France's sexiest celebrity chef, Jean-Christophe Novelli, to someone's house. A viewer who could do with a bit of TLC, that's tender loving cooking, and a hug from the glamorous Jean-Christophe. And this week he surprised Karen Beaumont in St Albans. She was nominated by her best friend, a girl called Tracy Neve, who told us that Karen has had a really bad Christmas, crowning a difficult year. So Jean-Christophe happily obliged. Good morning, Karen. Yeah? I am Jean-Christophe. <gasps> Jean-Christophe Nouvelle. I've watched him on all of his programmes and thought, what's he doing at my door and why is there a big furry microphone and a man with a camera on his arm and why is everybody looking in the street? I am here to cook for you and to give you a little bit of TLC. Oh my God. Can I come in? Yes, you can. <laughs> Karen, your French recipe told us that you sadly went through a very bad patch during the Christmas period. It started off bad last year when my marriage broke up. And just as we were bouncing back and looking forward to celebrating Christmas and the New Year, my dad had a stroke. It was his second stroke and we lost him on Christmas Day. In my own way, I'm going to try to contribute to, you know, to give you a little bit of uh, cheering up and giving you a bit of je ne sais quoi by introducing you one of my favorite recipe mm -hmm. which is made with chicken cumin fricassee do you like cooking yeah we'll do, go do for like? it we'll yeah? go for it yeah That's i don't it. mind cooking okay thank you i'm just about to create one of the most amazing recipe mm -hmm. just watch it i'm gonna slice the chickens in four different cuts the first things you have to do before you start, especially, especially with meat, is to use the seasoning. Straight into the meat, and it's very important that you do it before you cook it. I think chicken legs will definitely give a little bit of more texture and allow to cook it and become more tender. As soon as the pan is very hot, you're gonna make sure that you put your, your olive oil, and very quickly add your piece of chicken, one by one, Okay. Now you can see the calories are starting to appear. Now the cumin. You're going to make sure that you introduce the spice when it's nice and hot to make sure you extract the maximum of flavor. I'm going to use some thyme and the herbs will mellow very well with the chicken. Now I've got some bell Okay. Next, the onions. And the reason I'm putting the onions just after that as a second step is because I don't want them to start to burn unnecessary. Now, the turning point of the recipe is now when you introduce the flour to absorb the fat from the chicken. And this should be sufficient enough to get the right texture and the right thickness into your dish. Now, the next point is the wine. I'm using extra dry white wine, never boil the wine. You always have to take your time because more you boil it and more it's going to be acidic. Why? Because you don't allow the alcohol to be evaporated. I'm going to put some ch chicken cubes to amplify the flavors. Now I'm going to put some rice. You can use any type of rice, okay? You can see the rice is now mixing very well with the juice. This is the best way of making the fricassee. Now I'm just about to put the chicken into the oven, but before that, I'm gonna put a twist. A little bit of je ne sais quoi. Nogmeg, perfect, beautiful flavor. Right, the chicken is just about to be ready to be put into the oven. Karen, please, I would like you to try the chicken just before it goes to the oven. Don't you think there is a little bit of um, acidic, um, yeah? Yeah, just slightly, you can slightly. sort of like taste the wine. Use sugar. Don't be scared, you're not gonna turn your dish too sweet. Straight into the chicken. I'm gonna cover it up with some aluminum paper, just like that. And I'm gonna stick it in the oven. Okay. And I suggest, in the meantime, that will take about 35 minutes to 40 minutes. Nice and easy, 180 degrees. And I suggest you get ready. The smell is unbelievable. Oh no, no, look at this. What I want to do is to add some extra ingredients, which are very optional, obviously. A touch of garlic at the last minute, some green and black olives, flat parsley, which is nice, very healthy, and some double cream. Good 
There we are, chicken fricassee. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. You like oh, that's it? superb. Did we do a good job? I think we did. We definitely gave happiness and a smile to Karen. I hadn't stopped laughing, hadn't stopped smiling, <laughs> having a candlelit dinner in my living room with Jean-Christophe Nouvelli. Stuff of dreams, definitely.